Hey guys, this is Iron Wolf, and I set myself up for something in the last video. I'm doing a QA. and a Um, I don't know, hurrah noise or something, but um, I emailed some of my friends for their questions. I got some co a comment on the video I did, so let's do this, see how it goes. I got my phone here, nice blue phone, um, and yeah, we'll see how it is, so let's see, what will be the first question? we will do this one, from Jared Harvey, sorry if I mis mispronounced your name, I might turn like down so it's not glaring on my face. So, um, Jared Harvey asks, what's your favorite creature or creatures, mythical fantasy or real life, and what would you be? You can't decide, make a hybrid creature. I think it would probably be maybe a dragon. Yeah, probably a dragon. Dragons are cool think of all the people who mock me in videos. you No. But yeah, dragon. Definitely dragon. So what's the next question? We're gonna Sunday shoe. Yes. Why do fish? Because fish just do Okay. Uh, Sonopa, we'll go to the- oh jeez, she asked a lot of questions, oh boy, bear with me, um, first one is, what is your favorite thing to draw and what equipment do you use in your drawings? I like to draw anthros a lot, and if not, I like to draw people mainly, that's really what I'm good at, and, um, if not people, then weapons. I just draw inanimate objects like weapons and such. Um, the equipment I use for drawing, I use a pencil. There's no pencils here right now, oddly enough. I use a pencil. Usually, if I can, it'll be mechanical. Um, and uh, usually a white eraser about this big, um, after that, and, and paper, of course, um, after that I will take a picture of my sketch, upload it to my iPad, and finish it on there, coloring and everything, as some of you may have seen in my speed paints, which I guess, nah, I won't link them, maybe, unless you want them. Anyway, what's the next question? Do you have a favorite battle move or defensive strategy? I don't know about favorite battle move, maybe. I guess maybe a lightsaber throw, because I always thought that was cool. You just. Wouldn't it be awesome if you had like a weapon just. And then bring it back to you like Thor's hammer? That would be awesome. Just think about it like you wouldn't even have to, like, if you couldn't make it to someone in time, you just. Go! knock a guy out with a bat you'd be awesome um defensive strategy uh don't get hit that is my defensive strategy distensive that's not a word um what's your favorite disney movie oh gosh oh jeez um i'm not sure I really like the Lion King series. They're really good. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember which movies that I've watched are Disney or not. There's a pretty trademark which are Disney and which are not. Usually a character dies. Um, so yeah, probably the Lion King series. If I can't think of any other... If I think of something else some other time, I might do it in a different thing. Um, what's your, what is your favorite book recently? Wings of Fire, book seven, 
Winters. Uh, just a second. I don't know. I'll go get it. Winter Turning. Here it is. My favorite recent book. Winter's Turning. Or Winter Turning. I don't know if you can see it. It's down there. I'm going the wrong way. Amazing book. Amazing series. You should all read it. It is epic. Um, unless you're not into dragons. Which, if you aren't, why? Why are you not into dragons? Um, and last one. I must answer this. She put exclamation points. Uh, are puppies better than dragons? Um. Why you ask this question? I feel conflict. Um, I would have to say puppies. Mainly because I have encountered puppies before. And. So, yeah. Baby dragons are adorable, though, you have to admit. Um, if I had a baby dragon, probably would be my answer, but, um, puppies definitely, because they're so fluffy. Uh, so, yeah, those were Sinopa's questions. Sunday Shu, uh, I guess, uh, he asked some of his friends, I think, so, um, I'm not gonna say their names, just for privacy reasons, because they may not want... Anyway, um, one of his friends asked, Pizza or salad? Depends on what's on them. If it's a mm, three meat pizza, definitely pizza. If it's a salad with a bunch of bacon, definitely salad. Um, I guess she also asked, How do I ask someone a question when I don't know them? I don't know. That's a hard question. Probably don't. You probably shouldn't be asking me questions. Um, another one of Sunday Shoes friends asks, Ah, uh, what question? Did he, did he not get the memo? Listen, Anna, did you not give him the... Whatever. Oh, what else is there? Oh, here we go. My friend Gonzo says, Do you want donuts? If you have them for me, yes, I would, very much. Especially if they're um, lemon or strawberry filled. Or an apple fritter. Apple fritters are delicious. I love them. Oh, um, let's see. Nerd Commander. Um, a recent friend of mine asks, what games do you play? Variety, a certain genre? Um, I play a lot of games, actually. Not you know, They're not all seen on the channel, but um, before I started, I played... I didn't play many um, scary games, actually, before I started the channel. Uh, I got into it recently from some of my friends, like Vandor, telling me about Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff, and I was kind of like, eh, scary games, well, <clears throat> I don't care about those. <laughs> But, um, recently I've seen, I s saw videos about, um, Slender Games, and those interested me. I was like, wow, this is kind of interesting. You're going up against a evil, mysterious force, and you're trying to survive. I think that's something I might like to play. So I started with Slender Man, and eventually it went to Five Nights at Freddy's. But, um... But before that and now, I still play a lot of um, Legend of Zelda, a lot of Nintendo actually, um, and I play some shooters. I've been playing Destiny a lot because it's fun. To many of you who don't like Destiny, you know who you are. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I play a whole lot of games. I'm hoping to play a lot more varieties of games on the channel as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of scary games and people have been saying, You need to do more happy games! I will, trust me. I'm just trying to find them. That will be interesting enough. Um, what else? Do you think you can beat Markiplier in a FNAF competition? No. 
Absolutely not. Markiplier is the known king of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm like a peasant. Or maybe a knight. I am not... The... No, 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 no. I could maybe... I don't know, I don't... Yeah. No, no. Um... What are your favorite games from the following genres? Action, indie, horror, RPG. Um, well, game-based questions. Interesting, I kind of like this. Uh, action, I, uh, I would have to say the Super Smash Brothers series, if that counts. Um, I recently got into Project M, though I was kind of... I was kind of hesitant about it. It didn't seem as good as um, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, but uh, Blinzenator showed me Turbo Mode, and now I love it. So, yeah. Indie. There's really no favorite game I have in Indie, because pretty much every game that I play is Indie, but... Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to get back to you on that. I think the last cool indie game uh, that I've played, I would probably say uh, Towerfall Ascension, maybe? That's a fun game. I haven't put it on the channel yet, but I'd like to. Uh, horror. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I would most likely say Five Nights at Freddy's, but there are some pretty good horror games that have been coming out. And... Uh, but I would probably say Five Nights at Freddy's. If you ask Scariest, it might be a little different, because um, as scary as some of the Five Nights at Freddy's games are, there are certain games that are a bit scarier because of my certain fears. Um, I think Autonomophobia might play in some people's fears, and that's why FNAF scares the crap out of them. I don't think I have Autonomophobia, so I don't think it scares me as much. Also, I tend to not scream as much as other people, as I've been told before. Um, I think I have more of a, uh, and then and then I just I somehow keep my hand on the mouse sometimes, unless faceless Bonnie pops up. Uh, so yeah, RPG. Um, I'm not sure. There, because there's been horror RPG games that I've played. But, um, there have been other RPG games that I really, 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 really like. Uh, there was a good series, um, called Avion, which actually I might play now that I think about it. It's really good. Pretty long and pretty difficult series. Um, but RPG based... Uh, I'm not sure. I'd probably say right now, which is House, because um, of its interesting storyline and the jump scares are pretty good. Um, what is your favorite game based only on the storyline? Probably Five Nights at Freddy's again. Now that I think about it, um, horror might actually be uh, Spooky's House of Jump Scares because of just how the whole compilation was just mashed together really well. And, um, it actually was quite terrifying. I didn't even show the mini games. The mini games were just plain disturbing. <sighs> but, um, there were a lot of things in that game that were just, just psychologically weird. Um, so, I don't know. But, um,. Storyline based, I think, Five Nights at Freddy's because of how the background is so interweaved between every single game. I haven't even figured out everything in FNAF 4, so I, there's still more for me to figure out. And uh, the way Scott put that together, it, just, it really interests me. And it's why I think it interests many people, even though it's a scary game, people like... ARE YOU NOT TERRIFIED OF THIS THING? IT'S GONNA MUNCH YOUR FACE! I think, uh, people stay around with it for the 
the, the story, the interweaved background behind every single game. There's so much stuff in the background that you might not notice at first. Or you're like, oh crap, Foxy's gonna jump me. Oh crap, Puppet's gonna jump me again. But, um, so a lot of people say for just the fandom, so many Foxy fans. Not complaining, but mm, there's a lot of different opinions on it. So, um, anything else? Any other questions? Oh, oh yeah, I think there's one that I that didn't actually get sent to me, but um, got asked, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing it at the end here. Um, crap, I forget what name you wanted to go under. Uh, crap. Anyway, I'm sorry. I forgot your name. That you're gonna do whatever. But he asked, um, what was the origin of Hiron Wolf? Uh, well, what I was actually thinking of, um, the name sort of goes back farther along. But the origin of Hiron Wolf, I was just kind of like... Why not create something for YouTube so I can be sort of semi-anonymous? Cause privacy and all that. But um the name Hiron actually went back to a long time ago where I was creating a story about tigers. Yes. Tigers. Um, I had just been reading a lot of, uh, the Wolves Beyond series by, uh, I forget the name, there's another book, let me get it. Um, the Wolves Beyond series by Catherine Lasky. Uh, I love wolves, so I was like, yes, 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 please. Um, and so, I kind of based a story, I wanted a story sort of like it, so I was writing on the phone, and like, tigers, talking, blah, um, and the main character I named was Hiren. And it started out actually with an H Y R E N. No I. And um, the thing, the reason it got changed to I was when I um, did speak selection. For some reason, I wanted my phone to narrate the story I'd just written to myself. Um, this was when I was a bit younger. Uh, it sounded weird. It was like hearing or something. So I changed it to I, and it said Hiron, and I was like, oh, okay, good. I'll keep it that way then. So yeah, Hiron started out as a tiger with silver stripes on his left leg, maybe right? I don't remember. Is there some magical power about his arm stripes or something? Um, so... Uh, yeah, I started out with that, and then eventually I was just kind of like, I think even before that, I just, it was just a rank name, like, you know how there's Commander, General, Brigadier, yeah, I'm probably getting them all mixed up, but, um, it just started out like there was something, something hiring as a rank for some reason, some game me and my friends had made up a lot, a while back, um, and so eventually it just became Hiron like a name and for some reason it means like prince of like Indian it's like a name of an Indian prince or something which I had no idea when I created it so that's a thing um, and I think after that I just was like why not use it for my character 
it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, I liked the name. I thought it sounded cool. I was like, why not use it for the character I'm going to use forever? And, I mean, Hiram went through a bunch of different versions. There's the version I used for a fan fiction of Kung Fu Panda. Where, I, because I loved Kung Fu Panda so much, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go kick, my character's going to go kick butt in Kung Fu Panda. And then there was parts where I, like, role-played with a friend over emails and such with, I was like, yeah, Hiram, Swiss, Swiss sword. Fwah. Take down dark, evil things. Um, and then it eventually became Hiram Wolf when I started a YouTube channel, so I was like, hooray! And now we're here. And I think that's all the questions. Thank you to everybody who submitted some. Um, if you guys like this video and you think I should do another one, tell me down in the comments. Um, use the other video, or even this video, for more questions if you would like. Um, I might do another one of these if you guys want it. Maybe at another subscriber milestone, or just on its own. Um, also, I would like to thank everyone for not getting too personal and keeping it PG, like I asked. Um, so, yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, you can press the like button down here or the subscribe button if you want updates on more videos. This video is not like others, um, so I don't know if you get a sense of what it is or whatever, or what my channel is like, or whatever. I mainly do gameplays! Um, so, but if you've gotten this far and sat through this, I hope it entertained you. Um, and I hope it shows that I care about my subscribers somehow by answering questions. I care about my subscribers by answering their questions. I guess that makes sense. Because I care enough to read their questions and then answer them on video, even though I could totally embarrass myself. So, yeah. I care about you guys, apparently, with these questions. But I do. I care about um, you guys. You guys are awesome for subscribing to me because I just do random crap on YouTube. So if you guys are entertained enough, want to see more, great. Uh, I'm just rambling on now. I will see you all in the next video. This is Iron Wolf signing off. Goodbye.